Hey folks, Trip here. Now those of you who know me personally know that I really dislike two things. Number one, getting caught unprepared when I'm out riding. And number two, paying a lot of money for the things that prevent me from being unprepared. So with that in mind, today I'm gonna to talk about five must-have motorcycle accessories that you can get for under 10 bucks. Now I know a lot of you have battery tenders on your bike to keep your battery charged up when you're not riding real often or when you put your bike away for the winter. And our first accessory today under 10 bucks works extremely well with it. In fact, it's made by Battery Tender and it's a USB charger adapter. You simply plug this into your battery tender on your bike and the other end has a cap that pops open and you stick a USB power cord in there to charge up your iPhone, to power an iPad, to run a GPS, what have you. When was the last time you had your cell phone with you? You go to make a call, maybe it's an emergency call, I don't know, you pull it out, you're out of power, you got 2%. With this little item, you don't have to worry about that happening anymore. It's lightweight, it's compact, you can fit it in your pocket, you can put it anywhere, $9.99. And there's a model that's a little bit more advanced, but it's $14.99, but it's got two added bonuses. Number one, it's got two USB ports, and number two, it's got a voltage meter on it, so you can use it as a battery tester. Now, just in case you want to buy any of these items that I'm going to talk about today, I'm going to put all of the links down below the video in the detail section. Now the next must have item for under 10 bucks can save you a lot of grief. When was the last time you went someplace and found a gravel parking lot or a grass parking lot, or maybe even worse, it had just rained? Well, you don't want your kickstand shifting, sinking into the surface, what have you, and causing your bike to fall over and scratch that absolutely gorgeous gas tank. Okay, that could ruin your month and cost you a lot of money. So. Kickstand pucks. Here's a large one for a Harley or a Cruiser. Here's a smaller one for a metric bike or a smaller bike. Non-slip surface. They've got ridges on here to keep that kickstand from moving around. This one was $6.99. This one was $9.99. Or you can simply crush an old soda or beer can, which will work in a pinch. You can find almost anywhere. And best of all, they're absolutely free. Next up, one of my favorites, and I have a couple of these, digital tire pressure gauge. First off, it's a lot more accurate than that old fashioned pencil style gauge that you may use that sticks, that isn't accurate to more than two or three pounds, and it gets less accurate the older and stickier that plunger gets. This thing fits your hand well, it's pistol grip, got a button here, you push it, and guess what, the tip lights up, so if it's a little bit dark or you can't find that nozzle easy, it lights the way. And this thing turns off 30 seconds after you turn it on, so if you're an idiot like me, the batteries won't run out. It takes AAA batteries, it's got a backlit display, and it measures in pounds per square inch, up to 150, or bars or kilograms per centimeter, and there's one other more that I don't even know what the heck it is. And this one is made by Astro AI, and it costs $9.99. Now, while I'm thinking about it, be sure and check out my new website, tripontwowheels.com. If you wanna see more about the bikes I ride, if you wanna get in touch with me, if you wanna see what gear I use, this is where you wanna go check it out. Also, I post a blog every day, and there's a couple of cool features that you might wanna check out. So again, it's tripontwowheels.com. Also, leave me a comment on the website. Let me know what you think. Now, I don't know how many of you wear earplugs when you ride, but you really should. It'll help save your hearing. I didn't start using them till later in life. I really wish I had started using them when I was young. But anyhow, that takes us to our fourth motorcycle accessory for under $10, earplug holder. This thing is super compact, super strong, made out of solid aluminum. They come in a lot of different colors. And I don't know if you can see it, but it's got a little O-ring here, which makes it seal nice and tight and waterproof. And I got mine in a two pack for $8.48. Now you can see I've got two collapsible foam earplugs in here. Now I keep mine attached to my key fob, so I never lose it, it's always with me, and it's a constant reminder to put in the earplugs. You can also put it on the zipper handle on your jacket. And another great use for one of these is to put pills in. Let's say you have prescription medicine that you need to take with you on an overnight trip, or just anything real small that you wanna keep in here. These things are great. And before we get to our fifth and final item, let me ask you, are there any must-have motorcycle accessories for under 10 bucks that you use, that you recommend? If so, please list it down in the comments, and if I feature it in a future video, I'll give you credit and mention you by name. Now, just about all of us, at one time or another, have been caught out riding our bikes after dark, and we've needed some light, and we didn't have any. 
Let's say you need to look at a map. Let's say your bike's making a weird noise. Let's say you have a flat tire. Or even worse yet, you break down. Well, here's your answer. Headlamp. Now you say, trip, headlamp, big deal. I've already got one of those. But it's not just an ordinary headlamp. It's a USB rechargeable headlamp. Team it up with this, you'll never have to worry about having light again. I can't tell you how many times I've gone camping or in my toolbox, pulled out my headlamp, needed it, and it either didn't have batteries in it, the batteries were out, or something was wrong. Have a rechargeable one, you'll never have a problem. This thing has six modes. You can wear it on your forehead to see what you're doing, or you can strap it to your license plate and put it on blinker mode if you're broken down on the side of the road. Let's say your battery's out, your brake lights aren't on, your bike won't start, cars are gonna see you, they're not gonna run into you. $9.99. And I like to keep items like this very convenient and easy to reach while I'm riding. Here are all five of the items I talked about, along with a water bottle, in a windshield bag on my Harley Fat Bob. Well, I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please go down and hit that like button. And if you like this sort of stuff in general, please subscribe. And if you'd like to go one step further, consider becoming a Patreon supporter of the Trip on Two Wheels channel. You get lots of extra benefits. I'd really appreciate it. It can really use your help. To learn more or to become a Patreon member, please go to patreon.com backslash trip on two wheels. And until next time, this is Trip on Two Wheels saying ride safe and ride often, people.